Hello, welcome to Bentley's Backwards Bushcraft. This is Richard and we are at Camp Juliet Mike right now and we're going to wander around here for a while and try to avoid getting attacked by mosquitoes. And uh, I got a few projects today but I saw a couple things when I came in here that I wanted to show you guys. First of all, look at that. How beautiful is that? Get my old nasty head out of the way. Look at that. Beautiful. All right, so let's head down here for a minute by where I parked the bike. I want to show you guys something. This is where I've got the bike set. I got a small, small amount of stuff today. We may dig that out and show it to you, but I wanted to show you all these mushrooms that I've seen growing. Well, originally, I saw this little bit of sawdust here, which tells me something is working in there. And that would be kind of cool to see. So maybe I might have to go grab my other camera and stick it in this hole and see if I can't find anything. But look at these mushrooms that I found. That one looks pretty cool. Let's also focus on these little velvety ones that I see. Those are pretty cool looking and looks like they may have been nibbled on by something. These also, and these have also been nibbled upon by something. You can see those three little nibble marks on that one, and the one below it, underneath that leaf, has got some nibble marks. Now if we walk down this limb here, we have these right here. I believe these are called sow's ear or something to that effect because it kind of reminds people, I guess, of the ears of a pig. They're kind of a jelly. Now, I've been told, look at that, it does look like an ear. I've been told these are edible. Now, I'm not going to find out. Uh, uh, just touching them does not give me any enthusiasm to actually try to eat one of those but I've been told and I've read that that those are edible but don't take my word for it because I'm telling you right now I'm not gonna try them look what I found Let's see if we can focus in Look at that. Oh, look at that. Focused in just in time to get him moving. Let's see if I can't get a little closer. That's about as close as I'm going to get. How fantastic is that? I'll make sure to remember this if I decide to come out here for a uh, stealth camp make sure not to go over here even if it's dry because mm, apparently it doesn't stay dry if it rains found another little spot that has a good supply of fungus growing on trees these are these are well or they're very wet and jelly like you can kind of see they are wet 
Those are kind of cool looking. So I'm uh, walking my bike along this trail, paved trail here, and I see this tree. And as I pass it, I notice in the tree there's a little gnome. Somebody put that in there. And the cool thing is, is that black and gold is my family crest. A gold, gold shield with three black bins. That's really cool looking. Oh, hey look. And a spitter. Well, it's really not a spider. That daddy long leg is, is not actually a spider. It's more related to a crustacean, a crab, than it is a spider. And they're not venomous. Riding around looking for a spot I can do the little project that I want to do today and I've gone from one end to the other and now I'm doing it again and then I've just come to the conclusion that this is the spot that I'm going to use and if you recognize it this is the spot where I did my ramen noodle cook out here okay, so I've decided I've decided this is where we're gonna stop and relax. I'm gonna open up my small bag and show you what I brought with me today. And we will begin with this here. This has been sitting in the freezer since I made it. It's that 1810 calorie meal that I made out of the Dollar Tree stuff. And we're gonna have that today. What else do we have? Today is going to be a no cook uh, eating experience. And we also have uh, this Brunswick tuna salad with crackers, also from the Dollar Tree. We're going to have that today. And what project do I have for today? The project is in here. And it is going to require this little trowel. Now, this little critter here cost me a dollar. I did not get this at the Dollar Tree though. Uh, the sticker was still on it. Michelle looked at the sticker because it wasn't, didn't have a, a store on it. She looked at the sticker and told me, oh, that's family, family dollar. So I got this at the family dollar store for one dollar. And we are going to use this today with the project. Now, we are going to undo this wrap and I'm going to show you what our project is for today. And here we are. We'll unfold this nicely. And what do we have here? We have a little white container I got from a Chinese restaurant, which I use as a food container. I have three pieces of potato. One, two, and three. Now, so I've kept these moist for a couple days, and today we're going to uh, bury these, and we're gonna we're gonna plant them. We're gonna plant those along with. I'm gonna unwrap this, and again, I've been keeping these wet, damp, for a couple days as well. Whew, the bugs are flying. Wow, it's so damp I can't get it undone. Don't know where the, uh, oh well, I guess it doesn't really matter. We'll just start tearing at them. There we go. 
There we go. Open it up just like that. Here is the clippings from the bamboo root that I most recently have and this might be some actual growth right there I'm not a hundred percent sure so anyway there we go today we are gonna play bamboo Bentley and I am going to uh, plant these bamboo roots along with these three potato eyes. Now hopefully I can keep them uh, just to myself so we'll see but we're gonna find a spot around here and I'll get right back with you. Okay the the beauty of this spot is well let me get out of the way and look at it. Look it's just plain beautiful. But another beauty about this spot is that hopefully I will be able to uh, plant these without them being disturbed by anybody. Uh, the bamboo, I don't think will be messed with. Hopefully I can get these potatoes planted and they won't be disturbed and dug up by somebody else and come out here and get some potatoes. So let's begin. And all I'm gonna do is just turn the camera at a slight angle here downward and you'll see what's directly behind me and that's where we're gonna plant these potatoes. All right, so let's see if I can do this smoothly without turning the camera off. There we go. Just like that. So hopefully, yeah, yeah that, this will be fine. Uh, I'm going to plant these potatoes right here. This is where the potatoes are going to go. And look, here's some more fungus. Here we are, here's the potatoes and the bamboo roots. And all I'm gonna do simply right here is dig me a little spot. And hopefully, this will work. Very sandy ground. There we go. And potato number one. potato two right here underneath this piece of grass potato number two. Oh, hey look this worm And where should potato number three go? Let's put potato number three right up in here. There we go. And then potato number three goes right there. Good job. So, best way for me to remember where these potatoes are is to mark them in some manner. Back on my little bench here and looking down, the 
potatoes are right there right in that bare spot right there so I just need something that I can use to mark it with now it should be pretty easy to uh, to see them growing but I'm going to uh, figure some way of trying to naturally mark those without being too obvious and that's my solution that stick right there that's my marker there are three potatoes buried right up in here I have one around here one up in there and one right underneath that grass there's the three right here so when these potatoes grow right here I'll be able to come back to them when they're uh, nice and potatoey and dig them up and see what kind of wonderful potatoes we get now as far as the bamboo goes what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna switch spots here and I'm gonna sit right there and angle back towards where I was at so as you can see there that's the seat that I'm usually sitting at and right behind it right there is where I'm gonna dig and I'm gonna plant that bamboo so I should be able to just sit here on this tree just reach over here down here and bury this bamboo without becoming uncomfortable at all so let's get that taken care of Uh oh, I don't want to use this spot. Look what I dug up. I just dug up some ants. And their larvae. Right there, so unfortunately I'm not gonna I'm not gonna mess with that because you know ants gotta live too. Let's see here. Yeah, we're going to just leave them alone and let them deal with it. They'll be able to take them back to the nest and uh, get those larvae back where they belong. I've seen them do it tons of times. So instead of taking a chance on actually damaging those larvae, I'm just going to go ahead and leave them alone. And then I'll let the ants take care of that themselves. And I'll just find a new spot to, to do this uh, bamboo. So this is the same general spot. And I think maybe I can get closer to the creek. And maybe, maybe right in there. Maybe I can, may even work better than right there. Because this was the original spot. I may just get closer to the creek. All right, so that I can keep from worrying about the camera, I'm not going to bring it down with me. It's just going to stay right there. And I'm just going to put this bamboo right over here. Oh! If I don't slide in the creek in the first place.
All right, well, there we go. Now, if I can get back without falling in the creek. All right, awesome. So there we go. So I got that bamboo planted and uh, we'll see if it produces anything. I don't know how long it will take, but uh, yeah, we'll see. So right now we're gonna go back to the uh, sitting tree and have a little bit of lunch. Okay, well, I wasn't filming, but uh, I fell in the creek. Ugh. I don't want to touch the camera right now. I'm, I'm pretty well soaked, but from my knees up, I, I, I'm soaked. Yep, you can see it. See there? Yeah. So. I guess at this point it doesn't really matter because I'm soaked anyway. I gotta wash my hands, gotta wash my trowel. Uh, I might as well do it anyways. So I'll take care of that and then I'll hopefully not fall in again. Who knows? I guess at this point it doesn't really matter, does it? Here's the gear that I need to wash. And considering that I've already fell in the creek one time and it didn't get filmed, Whoa, I might as well try it again. Oh crap, there's food right in. Oh well. Alrighty, well, I guess it uh, doesn't really matter at this point that I'm soaked. Whew. Tried to clean the camera off a little bit. I got it a little bit muddy when I came up here to, to mess with it. But I'll show you my little slip spot here. You'll be able to see it pretty easily. Yeah, see that? Yep, yeah, that was me slipping and falling into the creek. Unfortunately, really just for the sheer entertainment purposes, I, I wasn't filming. I apologize. If I was filming, I would have left it in there. But anyway, I fell in the creek. Uh, nothing I can do about it. I mean, I'm soaked. So it's not like I got to worry about it. Ain't nothing I can do about it now. So anyway, we are going to sit here and we are going to have some tuna salad with crackers. The crackers. The tuna. And this cool little spoon. So, the yummy tuna. Get a spoonful. Put that on the cracker. Just like that. Maybe add a little more. I like a lot. Alright, so I'll finish that off with a little bit of water. Hmm. Not that I don't have plenty of it in my pants right now. But, this is drinkable. <laughs> Ooh. 
clear that. I'm soaked from my knees down and muddied everywhere else. Man, I wish I'd have got that on video. <laughs> well, I've accomplished my goals today. I went ahead and I got my potatoes planted and uh, I planted the bamboo without falling in the creek by the way and that's what I was worried about and uh, then when I went down to clean the gear at the creek that's when I slipped in and fell and unfortunately wasn't filming that and uh, I kind of regret that it would have been fun to fun to share and fun to see so anyway uh, I did have a great day out here it was fantastic uh, I really don't mind falling in the creek it's 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 not going to kill me, uh, you know, I'm just going to be wet for a few hours. Uh, I probably will make it home before these things dry out, so all I have to do is jump in the shower and, and clean up and change clothes. So other than that, thank you guys for watching Bentley's Backwards Bushcraft and enjoy the outdoors, even if it's just your own backyard. <laughs> oh man. Hello, welcome to Bentley's Backwards Bushcraft. This is Richard and we are getting attacked by mosquitoes. We are at Camp Mike, at Juliet Mike. Let me do that over. Ugh. Ooh, and it's still recording. That's uncool. Wow. So I don't even know if that's gonna make it in there, but I wasn't looking at the ground. I hit that wet spot right there and slid right in it and I about fell down on my butt but the camera sure did anyway 